Good day class. Uh, for this video, we will discuss uh, the basics and technical terms in graphic design. Uh, but before anything else, this is the first part of the video series that I will uh, release uh, to discuss the entire, uh, my entire uh, composed no? uh, or uh, formulated rules in graphic design. No? And of course, uh, some uh, terminologies will be discussed here. But before anything else, uh, for this uh, first part of the uh, workshop, we will first discuss uh, the meaning or the definition of design, its composition, no? uh, what are the two components of graphic design, and what are the examples no? of uh, uh, the design itself as a concept. So, uh, in this video, we will also uh, briefly uh, enumerate the elements of art or design and also the principles of art and design uh, after this we will uh, discuss what is the word graphic no uh, how do we define the word graphic no? we will uh, enumerate the, the the definitions no actually basic definitions from the dictionary and etymology no uh, what's the history of the word graphic as a concept and what are the examples and of course, uh, the graphic design as an integration of the word uh, design and graphic. So what's graphic design as a practice and uh, as a, uh, probably or uh, maybe a set of materials? No? Uh, what's a publicity material? No? And what are the examples of graphic design in our art history? So hopefully you will learn something after watching this video and of course uh, wait uh, for the next no the next part which is uh, some of the rules okay so let's start with the uh, first defining the word design as a concept no or as a practice no? uh, in the society that we're uh, in uh, firstly, design is uh, uh, originally from the Latin words out and to mark, which is uh, de and signare. So this is uh, pronounced as signare, not signare. No? Uh, similar to lasagna, uh, which is uh, not, not supposed to be pronounced as lasagna. No? So it's de and signare, meaning to out, uh, out to mark. No? Uh, as a verb, it's uh, to create or fashion, to execute, no? meaning to put everything in place intentionally. No? Uh, meaning you have a plan. No? Uh, for example, uh, why uh, your artwork or why is your design for a particular uh, material, material uh, colored in blue no? or shades of blue? No? Probably there's a purpose. No? You're, you're, you have an intention or uh, maybe... Uh, there's a scientific study behind uh, the use of the color. No? So, uh, what I'm trying to say is this, when we say design, it's not uh, just a subjective uh, composition. It's a composition based on planning. That's why uh, as a noun, uh, it's defined as a deliberate or purposive planning. So, th those are according to uh, etimonline.com and merriamwebster.com. Now, for example, take a look at this uh, uh, photo. No, uh, there's uh, four uh, different designs no, of a chair. So, uh, uh, according to my source, no, this is a, a collection of uh, Danish modern uh, chairs. No, in uh, Danish Design Museum in Copenhagen, around 2011. No? So, uh, if you can notice, so th these are different designs. No, but uh, Observe, there are uh, all of the chairs are uh, has four feet no, to stand on its own. No, probably uh, some of the so, some of the other chairs have multiple or less, but there they, there cannot be uh, only two feet no for uh, for a chair. No, there's a reason why it's designed uh, as sleek as the white one, and uh, probably the others. No, why they chose the material, no, the particular wood, no. So those are the things that they considered in designing 
this uh, uh, set of uh, chairs. Now going to the definition of graphic. No? So when we say graphic, it's a uh, uh, originally uh, or originated from the Greek words graphikos, graphe, and graphem. So meaning uh, it's a drawing or writing, or but uh, making uh, picturesque no? uh, forms of writing. So way back then, uh, there there are no uh, different concepts of writing and drawing. The two. Uh, concepts or practices are just the same way back uh, prehistoric times. No? So uh, my my the art theory professor once told me that uh, art came first no? before history because uh, uh, art is the one who first narrated no, history. Why? Because of the cave paintings. No? So uh, uh, it's, an ad it's an adjective no, related to anything that is uh, reproduced no, in, uh, in uh, the realm of design, no, graphic design. So, uh, maybe particularly in uh, uh, printed materials. No? So, for example, photography, Xerox, lithography, there's uh, uh, engraving, no? and uh, of course, the noun graphic as visual representation. So, the images that you use in your materials, uh, the maps, no? The charts that you use, the drawings that you use to support the material that you're doing, those are example of graphics. So and and uh, there's another example. Eh? So for example, eh, the word graphic that uh, maybe you can watch in a uh, TV. You no know, trigger warning videos are too graphic, etc. 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 So those are example. No meaning the 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 scenes are too visual. No, it's very uh, disturbing. So it's just uh, similar to the adjective and uh, the noun of the word graphic. So again, this is from Merriam-Webster and uh, Etim Online. Now I prepared uh, four examples. So in these photos, no, you can see in front of you. Uh, first, in the uh, uh, upper left corner is the Lascaux cave paintings. No, so. Why is the the, the graphe, graphene and the graphe has uh, uh, has supposedly two meanings in present times, no? But uh, before, no, uh, writing is just one concept, no. There's no separate concept for drawing and writing because they narrated, no. They narrated their story, no, during the primitive communal times through drawings. So way back then, there there are no sets of alphabets, no. Uh, until of course the first civilization in uh, Mesopotamia, no, uh, where they uh, formulated this uh, cuneiform, no, uh, uh, writing system. Again, it's uh, made out of basic shapes and lines, which are uh, of course uh, elements, no, of design. And the next one uh, in your lower left, no, the Egyptian hieroglyphs. No, if you can observe the the, the hieroglyphs, it's uh, made out of images, so drawings of uh, the things that they see around them. So similar to the cuneiform uh, in layout, but uh, it's similar or it has resemblance in uh, the idea in terms of idea with the Lascaux cave paintings. No, so uh, those are drawings of what they see. No, what they see around them. So there are humans. There are, there's a basin. Uh, there's a lot of bird. No, birds. I, there's an eye. No, so those are symbols. Those are drawings. But they use it as a writing system. They use it as language. No, how they narrated uh, what's happening. No, how they use that to propagate the the, the regime of their kings. No, so uh, those are. Uh, those are the uh, the writing systems or the, the the writing practices of the Egyptians, and of course the fourth one in your uh, uh, lower right are of course the East Asian uh, or Chinese characters. No, so why did I include this? Because uh, some of the basic or a lot, actually all of this, are uh, basic uh, Chinese characters no? are formed no uh, based on 
a specific element, a specific object. So, for example, the mountain is uh, like a trident shape, uh, Chinese character. No, flame is similar to a fire, and of course, uh, the rain. Uh, uh, actually, the rain is the, the one of the most uh, memorable for me because of the the strokes. No? the rain like stroke so again it's a uh, uh, use of symbols and maybe of course uh, uh, as time goes by uh, uh, chinese people uh, develop their writing system no. Now, uh, put those two words together, no? so uh, the, de the definition of design and the definition of graphic no? or graphics, you will have the word graphic design. No? So this is a, a small cell in the realm of uh, arts and design. No? So it's uh, the, uh, the art or profession if you're uh, pursuing uh, graphic design or arts and design as a career or a practice for common people who who isn't really into the arts industry no but basically it's just the same it's uh, the use of uh, design or art elements and uh, uh, art principles or design principles no so what are the design uh, elements so uh, some of the examples were line shape form if you can remember your map eh, way back uh, elementary and high school and of course the principle uh, the harmony the balance the rhythm etc and of course uh, transforming those elements and principles into uh, the graphic design elements which is uh, uh, of course the typography no the use of font the use of letters the use of texts no in your uh, design of course the visual representation the choice of color etc so what are the components of graphic design or design itself so it's always uh, it all it always has to be composed of two components which is the form and the function so why form or, or aesthetics no so when we say form or aesthetics meaning it has to be beautiful or at least attractive no it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't uh, need to be maybe that uh, very elaborate no but it must not be uh, uh, ugly no or bad looking no? it must not uh, be an eyesore no? so meaning uh, the aesthetics is always important no? uh, to make, of course, the viewers, the audience, uh, attracted to our uh, work. No? Of course, it, uh, it also must have no? a function. So, it's, it, it must be functional. It, it cannot be a design without use or a purpose. No? So, for example, if you're going to uh, create a poster for a concert, the poster must be beautiful. And it must deliver, meaning if you have a poster for a concert, you have to uh, invite, no? So if if there's a if if there's a problems like the posters are not too visible, the posters are not uh, uh, looking good, no? The posters are not that uh, uh, well spreaded throughout the country, maybe, no? Meaning the function. Uh, did not work no the purpose it doesn't uh, the poster did not actually serve its purpose no so it has to be form and function both of uh, these components must work together no it cannot be just the form and it cannot be just the function no? so it's always form plus function yeah. so these are the examples so some of the examples of my works uh, so a photo quote no uh, uh, an illustration of a pope, no, a poster of an event in the uh, University of the Philippines way back. Uh, I think that's 2013. Uh, this is for uh, Alter Media, no? a photo quote, uh, a cover for a magazine, a shirt design, and uh, this one it's just for fun, no? just an illustration. But I still uh, use, of course, graphic design. No, in terms of uh, how do I lay out these uh, elements? No, how do I uh, uh, consider placements of the drawings? There, are, there are different illustrations there. Uh, the texts. No, how did I uh, consider doing this? No, that it has to be 
uh, workable and uh, attractive, meaning the form and the function. Okay, so short uh, background of uh, graphic design. This is what we call uh, lithograph posters. No, the three of these posters are one of uh, or some of the first uh, posters in art history, uh, particularly in European modern art. No, so this is uh, 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 made by uh, a lithograph posters uh, made by the post impressionist painter Henry uh, de Tolulo Trek. No, or Tolulo Trek. No. So, Henry Tolulo Trek is renowned for uh, his expressive interpretations uh, of, the, uh, of, of his works in Paris. No? So, he is fascinated by the capital city's colorful nightlife. Ayan. So, he created 363 posters no? featuring uh, some of the, uh, the posters what, that what you see in front of you. So this is from uh, my met, uh, my modern met dot com. Now I hope you have learned uh, something in this uh, video. So please uh, subscribe and wait for the next video, which is the part two. No, uh, we will be discussing the rules that I uh, formulated myself no, in terms of graphic design. So these rules are, uh, of course, inspired by uh, or fr from what. I have got in my college life, in my work as a graphic designer, freelancer, as, a, as an activist, of course, and of course, uh, uh, as an artist. No? And some, of course, I got from my older sister. Ayan. So, I hope to see you in the next video. So, thank you for watching this. Uh, thank you for watching the first part.